Hi guys, got a request here from Nicholas Hasco to make a car from popsicle sticks for the chassis. So I've got some popsicle sticks there. A motor that connects to the back axle. Well, I've got a motor there, a little electric motor. Sort of thing you get out of these handheld fans. That's one I've used before, so I'll use it again. Uh, and we need a switch. Now, I'm going to make a little switch. I'm going to use this electrical connector block and a paper clip. I'm going to cut it into pieces and bend it so that we can use it as a switch by just touching the, the wires together. For wheels I'll use these milk bottle tops. I'm going to use the motor and put a little pulley on it and a rubber band and then on the inside of one of the wheels I'll put another bottle top which will be the pulley on the back axle so we're connecting the motor to the back axle via a pulley system I could use little gears which I have got but I know lots of people making these projects don't have access to nice little plastic gears so pulleys are a lot easier to make uh, for the pulley on the motor I've got a small wheel off a toy car. I collect all those sort of bits and pieces. That's the sort of thing. And I shall use that and put a little disc of cardboard on either side of it to stop the rubber band coming off. But that happens to be a good fit on the end of that motor. So I put a cardboard disc on either side. I've got some scrap cardboard there. That should stop the rubber band coming off. I might have to put one, a bigger disc, on the inside of there to stop the rubber band sliding off there as well. For the axles I'll just use a barbecue skewer. And then we've got some bits of wire to connect the motor up. And this is the battery compartment from an old TV remote control. I chopped it up and just cut the battery compartment out. That takes two AA, uh, sorry, AAA batteries. So that should be enough power for that motor. So first thing we want to do is decide how we're going to do the chassis. And I should think if I drill a hole either end for the axles to go through, possibly hot glue it straight onto there, that'll probably do the job. Might have to put some cross members on so we can mount that on there and we need to mount the motor on there as well. So I'll drill some holes, I'll solder my bits of wire onto the terminals on here and also solder some wires onto the terminals on the motor. Connect them all together and see how we get on. <laughs> 